we push back members. A loot mob too. I'm not down with the punch back because the punch back is not punching back. They're fucking fine. No, they disrespected me, bro. No, I don't want to hear it. Shut the fuck up. They disrespected me, bro. Don't no, fuck with me, man. Well, fuck you, you fucking twat. Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the fuck are you to tell me I got to apologize? Who the you know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. So asshole, fucking Kabbalah reading motherfucker. What do you think about that, Nick? Kabbalah reading liars. That's how World War One started. Mob rats exposed. Probably an informant. This fucking mob rat exposed. I'm going to expose you, motherfucker. I meet this man. He's of the Italian chaperone. And uh, we talk about, you know, we don't like the Jew. We don't like the black man. We don't like the Muslim. We don't like the fucking foreigners coming to this country. This video is going to be part two of going over the conflict and the many members of the We Push Back and the We Punch Back communities. Starting off with NB, aka Lauren Rothang. Likes to let her rot hang on camera for everyone to see. And every time she comes on screen, she's got her fucking legs spread. She's a nasty bitch. She's with a, a pig. nasty box. Hi, my friends in chat. Just like Tony Pizza, she's not exactly a We Push Back member, but aligns with a lot of their members and streams with them. Lauren's obsessed with Fat Paul Sicilian, setting up multiple hate channels, posting almost daily videos making fun of him and his family. Apparently, the room is, NB is, the and only made these hate channels because she has a crush on FBS and is jealous of his wife and his money. Close your legs to married men. Close, clo close your legs to married men. She also fucks a married man named Joe Bayet, the co-host of her live streams, completely destroying his marriage. Joey we get laid or no? <laughs> the chat's asking. <laughs> no comment. If you are a girl and you see a pretty boy, let it go. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. If you are a boy and you see a pretty girl, let it go. Ding, ding. 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 According to FBS, she sends nudes to just various people. And if this is true and you're interested, Lauren hit me up at Chunky Chunkle MV Picks at MobTube. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't sound like she likes me very much. You ever see this Chunky Kid's channel? He's a fucking Dude. asshole. Chunky who? Chunko, who the fuck are you? This Chunky Chunko, if we had enough of him. Yep. Yeah. NB is a professional troll who goes from community to community, always going too far in the process. For example, she called the cops and CPS on both FBS and Gunsmoke. She made disgusting memes about Angel Gotti's dead 12-year-old brother. You scum make memes about a dead 12-year-old boy. While also making death threats to FBS's stepson. And it said, braid in your neck, so it was a death threat to my stepson. And finally, she got a man whose son was undergoing chemotherapy's health insurance canceled. It's evil. It's diabolical. Now jumping over to everybody's favorite neighborhood crackhead, Tony Pizza. We went over last video for illegally threatening to kill people. BK, I'm gonna Stupid fucking find you. I'm gonna fucking rip your motherfucking head off. Come up here, little huh? cocksucker. I'll fucking bury you, you fucking punk. And being secretly gay, despite the fact that he's openly homophobic. You're a fucking fag. You're a stone cold fag. He now has two channels, one whose name is making fun of Tony Soflo, where he continuously live streams pretty much all day, as he doesn't have much else to do, being homeless and all. Fucking homeless, dirt bag, piece of shit. Yeah, where's your tent? Where's your fucking tent? Come back, come I want to get the tent up. It's a pretty big tent. You shit your fucking trousers. Where? Yeah, okay. I'm going to shit my trousers with a, a cunt Where? like you. Tony runs his channel by using the free Wi-Fi at Starbucks. For one time while he was live streaming, a viewer called the restaurant, giving way to this hilarious footage of Tony Pizza shitting his pants when he gets the call. Yeah. Tony, Mom, 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 Causing an entire scene and bothering the poor Starbucks employee who probably doesn't want to be there. They told the girl that they're going to be here very soon. They don't even know where I am. He says this even though they just called the location he's at. See this Right now. Finally, Tony Pizza just announced he got a brand new puppy, making me wonder what happened to his last dog since he did a great job taking care of that. Mwah. Mwah. Good boy. Good boy. Mwah. 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 Enough kisses outside, smell fresh air. Oh, did you just pee in the car? I'm gonna take your motherfucking ass out. You just pee in the car. You just pee in the car. You just did not. Did you? Did you? That stupid dog.
Breaking news, Tony Pisa just beat his new puppy. <laughs> Next up, we have an update on Lee Cole. We went over last video for switching sides and buying subs. Lee was accused of buying subs after quickly gaining 800 subscribers in a short amount of time, but has continuously denied it. Somebody bought me live viewers, bro. I was bro, you beat bro. It's like, it's like a Lee Cole scenario. We now have confirmation, thanks to FBS, who showed the receipts of someone buying subs for Lee's channel. Confirming Lee Cole has bought subs and is not really the top channel on Mob 2. Unfortunately, the Lee Cole and Danny Trio podcast is now just the Lee Cole podcast. As Danny just announced, he's leaving you. YouTube. just want to let everybody know that I am leaving YouTube. It has nothing to do with anybody on YouTube. It has to do with me and what's good for me. Which is fine by me because Danny really doesn't like me. Chunky Chunko, I will unban you from my chat, uh, but but Danny laid down the order to, 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 to block you. Even though I've only said good things about him in my last video. From what I hear, Danny Trio is an actual good guy, but unfortunately his brand is stuck with that of Lee's. I was more critical to Lee than anyone, and besides one threat, yeah. well, Lee, he has no idea what's about to come down. <laughs> so once you make that choice, uh, Chunky, you're on it. He's been nothing but nice. Chunky Chunko. I appreciate you coming by, and I appreciate your remark. You know, Chunky Chunko is a very talented guess, guy, but boy, is he yeah. picked the wrong side. Danny claims to be an ex-mob member who went to jail. There's no proof whatsoever of him being associated with the mob. Liar! But there is proof of him going to prison. Danny's nothing more than a one-trick pony who adds nothing to Lee's podcast. Only jumping in to insult someone using one of the same three insults. And talk shit to their face, you punk. You're a sissy cocksucker, is what you are. You punk pussy bastard. Fuck you. You cocksucker. Now let's take a moment to remember Danny Trio. I'm sure his wife fucks him in the ass at night with a big, with a big cock. We have some breaking news, not even one day later, and Danny Trio's back on the podcast. The final point I want to continue talking about from last video is Lee switching sides. Lee switched sides from We Punch Back to We Push Back. As we can see, he's in most of their recent streams. Although some people on that side are genuinely nice to Lee, such as Angel, people like BK, NB, and Joey Bay 8, they're abusing the moderation privilege given to them in Lee's chats, giving timeouts and bans to actual fans of Lee, and badmouthing Lee in the chat. He's got all these wrenches. They're all taking the piss out of him. Been saying in the comments, New Beginning, saying, Lee's a Delay. Like, this guy's <laughs> retarded. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for my other Mob 2 videos and stay tuned for the release of Gravesend Season 2.